Hey guys, it's Dan here, and uh, today I'm out here on the houseboat, got the Blackstone fired up, and uh, we're going to do some uh, chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Going to make some sandwiches out of them, I'm going to grill up some uh, peppers, and uh, I don't know what everybody else is going to put on theirs, but I do know on mine, I'm going to have an apple butter barbecue sauce, and I'm going to put a hot habanero cheese on it. So stick around, and I'll get to cooking here in just a second. All right, guys, we got this on about medium heat. We're gonna put a little bit of oil down. We're gonna start with our peppers. And I'm cheating today, because we're out on the boat and I didn't want to take time to slice everything up. So just bought the package from the store that was already sliced up. Let me get these going and I'll be back here in just a few minutes. All right, they've been on for a couple minutes. Let me stir them around a little bit. Already starting to get a little bit of color on them. They're not going to take real long. Because I'm not really sauteing them. I don't want them too soft. Uh, one thing I have found out about this 22 inch out here on the boat Especially with the way the wind's blowing today, the wind's coming from this direction here. When I think they're almost done, before I start to check, I'm going to put them over in this corner because that's always usually the coldest corner. And if they start looking like they're getting overdone, then I'll pull them off. Alright, they're starting to soften up a little bit. They're getting a decent little char on them. Um, I didn't even think about it when I started this, but the rooftop air conditioner is going because it's hot out here, so hopefully you guys can hear me all right. But I'm just going to shove these in the corner here. I'm going to go grab the chicken. And we'll get started on the chicken. I'll be back with the chicken here in just a few minutes. All right, guys. I got the chicken ready. Let me move this out of my way just for a second. And all I've done on the chicken is I just salt and peppered it. That's the only seasoning I use. And uh, like I said at the beginning, this is a boneless, skinless uh, size. I'm just going to lay these on here. And they should cook up halfway quick. Shouldn't take too much time at all. And then we're going to make sandwiches out of them. These make excellent chicken sandwiches. Let me get this out of my way. You guys have a great time out there. And that was my dock neighbors heading out. They uh, anchored out for the week. They're on vacation. And uh, that was them leaving in the runabout. Ooh, this one's going to take a minute. That one's pretty big. But all right. Let me get these cooked up and uh, I'm going to close the lid to hold a little bit of heat in. It's what I really like about this 22 inch that I bought. Uh, that it has the lid on it. It makes a world of difference. Alright, let's pop this lid open. Let's see what we got going. Ooh, I'm gonna give these veggies a quick little flip. This side's not as cool as I originally thought it would be. But they're still doing real good. I didn't give them a whole lot of a head start. Actually, they're looking beautiful. Let's see if these are ready to flip yet. Like I said, that one and that one is going to take the longest of them on. Yeah, they released themselves, so...
boy, I wish you too, but let you guys smell this. This smells amazing. All right, well, let me get this lid closed and let those go for a little bit longer. And then I'll take my instant read thermometer and I'll see what temperature they get up to. And I'll be back with you as soon as they're right at done. All right, let's check these again. I just checked them a few minutes ago and they were real close to putting the barbecue sauce on. But let me check real quick again. These smaller ones I know are done. Oh yeah. Yep, everything's up to where it's safe to serve. Let me take care of these veggies again real quick. My wife, she bought this um, from a guy that makes it homemade and sells it. It's uh, Smith's Country Fresh Products, and uh, it's made right here in Liberty, Indiana. how much of a mess I can make. That's why we cook outside, folks. If my wife let me cook inside, I'd have to hire a cleaner every week for the kitchen. I want to go warm that. That's big thing. Good thing I'm used to cleaning this flax stone, because I can tell you right now, the saw is making a tiny bit of a mess when it runs off there. That one needs a little more. Alright. Looks good to me. I'm going to move that away from the heat. Close the lid, try to let that set just a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, let's take a look at that. That's looking pretty good. Uh, now, I'm on two of these because they're going to be mine. I'm putting this uh, hot jalapeno and habanero. Um, and then on two others, I'm going to put um, pepper jack. That's for my wife and her aunt. Uh, the rest of them I'm not going to put cheese on yet because I'm cooking for several people and uh, a few of them haven't arrived yet and I don't know what kind of cheese they like. And of course, as always, I probably should have pre-separated this before I started shooting a video, but wouldn't be a Dan's Outdoor Cooking video if I did everything the way I should. Those two right there are going to be mine. And then I didn't ask them if they wanted one or two, so they can add cheese here in just a little bit if they want to. Of 
course it's so hot out here this cheese is almost melted already without me even putting it over the heat. Close that, let that uh, melt for a minute, and then they'll be ready to serve. All right, cheese is melting up nicely. Let me get that container that I bought these peppers in. Let's get these peppers off of here real quick. Put some of that oil and stuff in the drain. Don't want them too greasy. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing outside. Uh, next to the subscription, there's this bell. If you click that bell, you'll get a notification anytime I'm cooking something or putting videos out. Uh, if you comment, I try my best to get back with everybody in the uh, most timely manner. Alright, now how am I going to sort these? Oh, I think I'm going to have to use spatula to begin with. Alright, if I remember correctly, pepper jack. Pepper jack. Turn this plate. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, I went and got a clean plate. This is not the plate I brought the raw chicken out on, I promise you. Hot and spicy, or hot, whatever, habanero. Another habanero. Alright. Well, I'll be back here in just a little bit with a taste test. But does that not look good? We are going to eat very good this evening. Alright guys, here's my chicken sandwich with that uh, jalapeno uh, habanero cheese on here and that apple butter barbecue sauce. Most part of a napkin. My goodness, that is spot on, guys. And I know I've done other Blackstone videos with chicken and stuff, but I greatly appreciate you guys uh, watching this one. Oh, if you guys have made it this far into the video, then you probably follow my channel quite a bit. You know that it's been, I don't know, roughly four months since I put out a video. Um, I'm still here. I'm healthy now. Uh, the whole month of May, I was puny. Uh, I'll get into that some other time, but yeah. So the whole month of May, I was down. The first part of April, we moved on to the boat for the year. The end of April, I was still getting everything ready. Uh, all I have is the Blackstone right now to cook on because we have limited space back here. Uh, and then June, to be honest with you, it just... It was crazy at work, it was crazy everywhere. I didn't do a whole lot of cooking. Uh, but once again, thank everybody. Uh, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you following my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. 
and everybody please have a blessed day and be safe.